Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you new things about the Team Developer 6.2 charting control. In Team Developer 6.2, the charting control has been enhanced to allow multiple charts per control. This allows you to have several charts that share a combined x-axis that but that have separate y-axis. Have a look at that. So let me run this sample application here. Load some data that will be used to build a chart. And here's the sample application with the new chart control. In this case we just have one chart in the chart control. You see the several data points and all these things. And <clears throat> now with multiple charts, if you switch that on, you see there's another chart in here that shares the same x-axis like the other one but has a its own y-axis. Now, because of the resolution of this video, this uh, is a little, little bit scrammed together here, but you can basically have multiple charts in one charting control that share a common uh, x-axis. So, let's have a look at the code to see how that works. So, in the outline, there's basically one function that f create chart that contains all the methods, functions, and settings to <laughs> configure a chart. And there's one checkbox if cb multiple charts equals true, then we are adding a new chart area using the call UFC chart add stack chart area. And then we set the chart set current chart area. So basically <clears throat> you set after creating a second uh, charting error, you set the error you want to work on and you want the following calls to be applied to. So this is the um, multiple charts feature of um, team developer 6.2. Thank you for watching the TD6.2 charting control video. Stay tuned for more exciting things about TD6.2 very soon.